Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss CSS property contain. So, the contain CSS property indicates that an element and its contents are as much as possible independent from the rest of the document tree. Okay, so containment enables isolating a subsection of the DOM that is document object model providing the performance benefits by limiting calculations of layout, style, paint, size or any combination toward DOM tree, DOM subtree. Okay, not the entire page. So, uh, this is very uh, rare used but this is very uh, useful property. So, we will see with actual example. So, there are four types of CSS containment, size, layout, style and paint okay so we need to set this to container so let's see with actual example in html out of this container i'm adding one div okay and a uh, div class i will give outer outer div okay and this is container in uh, in our scenario this is container Okay, so div class inner. So in this we have inner div. Now we have an h2 adding tag, adding tag. So container example that is our h2, and here in a paragraph you can write down some text. Okay, so let us see how it looks. So this is our simple HTML. And here we will have another div with some class and this class will be fixed div okay and you can give this is or you can write I am fixed div okay so now this looks like simple HTML okay so let's go to CSS and let's give some class to our outer div okay so class outer uh, first of all uh, we will use text align left okay after that uh, you can give some border 5 pixel solid red and background background color let's keep it white and see how it looks so this is simple css okay here you can give some padding let's add 15 pixel margin it is not required but let's uh, keep it 10 pixel width let's keep 85 not 75 85 okay and we can also add height 180 pixel for example we can change it but let's keep it 180 so now let's see how this renders so this is not required we can keep 130 pixel and this is good okay now let's add our css for this fixed view okay so what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to uh, set this view as a fixed view position fixed so first of all let's give position fixed and with position you can give border by 5 pixel uh, dotted and yellow for example okay let's uh, give right 5 pixel padding also 5 pixel and margin 5 pixel so let's see how this looks so as you can see this is our fixed view uh, let me add background color uh, let's keep it something like uh, brown and let me add color as well so you can read it clearly color is white okay so as you can see this is fixed view right so in our case we can set this container this div with contain property 
and based on this content property this both content or both element will float or change the its position okay so this is our outer div you can see this is our outer div and using that outer div contain property first of all let's give none okay so there are uh, possible values like none strict content size inline size layout style and paint okay so default value is none so once you apply the none outer contain none nothing will going to change okay so uh, let's change it value to something else so let's give the value to content so as you can see uh, when you give the content let me change its minimum height let's give it for example 160 okay so here let's change it 160 and change the content value to content okay so now you can see this fixed here this fixed element is right 5 pixel right but when you change the value of contain to content this div is going into this specific inner div not inner div in this outer div so this is how the contain property change um, other elements as well so let me change to initial initial size layout so you can see now when you change it to layout it will it will be there but uh, it will also change its z index not exact the z index but you can uh, refer it as a z index as well now is a default property so when you give paint it will fit into this specific container but it will uh, it will be visible so uh, this is paint and also reward size strict strict is also similar to paint style is also there so container property can have uh, any of the values like none or uh, you can also use size layout style paint okay and uh, shorten properties are strict and content so when you use none the element renders as normal with no containment applied when you use strict values like size layout paint or style all containment rules are applied to the element right okay so when you use content so in the contain value when you use content all containment rules except size are applied to an element so uh, this is also a very useful value uh, next is size when you apply size size containment is applied to the element in both the inline and block directions okay so the size of the element can be computed in isolation and it will ignore the child elements okay and uh, inline size is also one of the, the possible values that inline size containment is applied to the element the inline size of the element can be computed in isolation and it will also ignore the child elements so uh, there is one uh, value possible is layout the internal layout of the element is isolated from the rest of the page rest of the dome so it means nothing outside the element will affect its internal layout okay and similarly style so for properties that can affect more than an element and its descendants the effect don't escape the contain element containing element similarly paint is used to descendants of the element that don't display outside its bound so uh, when you are using this content property you have to uh, check all the values all the possible values that you can use with this containment property contain property to be precise okay so uh, this is very complicated you can say but when you uh, when you apply this property in your html uh, let's say while you are creating your layout then it is very useful to uh, may float float the uh, elements you can say so all right that's all for this video guys if you are new to my channel please go to my channel there are 
more than 220 videos uploaded and uh, you can visit playlist as well in playlist there are a uh, few videos on css properties wordpress css selectors and there are few javascript tutorials as well so if you learn something new today please subscribe to my channel and see you next time around bye